Hello everyone, welcome back to Beaver's Hobby channel and today I'm gonna flash the HTX onto my TX16S. So let's get started. First thing first, we're gonna have to back up the SD card that was in this uh, radio. So flip it up, press in there and then here's the original SD card. So. I'm going to put it in a card reader and then do a backup. Once that's done, we're gonna have to download three things. First, it's going to be the SD card for TX16S. We're gonna have to download the Horus version of this one. Then, we're gonna need the sound pack. And here's the sound pack. And you're gonna have to download the language that you want. So I'm gonna use the English. It's gonna be this one. And finally, we're gonna download the firmware, which is this one. And then we scroll down to the firmware. Well, I've downloaded all of this earlier, so it is in my folder already. Next I'm gonna put a new SD card in which is uh, this is 32 gigabytes and uh, hopefully it runs because the original comes with uh, 256 megabyte and I don't know what is the biggest card it supports anyway we're gonna have to format it to fat 32 fat 32 ftx and click ok and then we're gonna have to extract the sd card folder into the sd card that we want to use just like that and then the sound put it in there and then we're gonna need the firmware so read me what I just said we can put the firmware in here so extract the firmware that we need right here so my radio is the TX16S, so we're gonna put the TX16S in here. And that's it. And next, we're gonna need the model. So here's the model that I have from my backup. Put it in there, and then images. Gonna put all the photos in here so we're gonna need a radio and models folder so radio folder do we have that radio no okay so here's radio radio.bin ah okay so I'm gonna put it in there as well and I think it is ready to go into the radio. So I'm gonna have to unmount. Now this SD card is ready to go into the radio.
put it in there and turn it on. Welcome to HTX. Mm, it is going to have some warning. Don't worry about it. Now press this little key and then go to firmware. Scroll down to this, click it, flash boot loader. And it is done. Now we're gonna to have to turn it off. And then I'm gonna go into the bootloader by holding the T4 and T1 inwards. And then turn it on. Yep, now go to right firmware. Let to select file and hold to flash. Now just wait. Exit. Conversion. Welcome to HTX. Perfect. Now it is working. Oh, and the touch screen is working right away. Get the sled model. And the scrolling works as well. So that's fantastic. So it is very easy to use and very intuitive to use. Wow, so let's uh, power cycle it once. Perfect. So we're gonna have to slip more down. Go to MA. Oh, it is in this one already, so I think we're gonna have to calibrate the radio. Radio system. Go to the calibration. Right, enter to start center all the sticks so all the sliders have to be in the center to do this the dial as well so and press enter move everything to the edge Slider up and down, all the sliders. And also this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Press enter and it is done. So we're gonna need something to go on here to the monitor. So as you can see it is working. And as you can see here, the widget is reset. So I think we're gonna have to set it up first. Press the tail here. And now we can utilize the touch screen. So click that. Set up widget. The first one, I would like to have the output. And then press back. It is perfect now. Oh, that's so that widget model pump Push back and it comes with the picture that I back up as well hmm let's see what can I put here goes even demo counter 
battery check. What battery does it have? Mm, probably not. Value. Huh. Let's, let's go with the value. Source. Yep, there's a lot of stuff we can put it in here. So let's go with battery. Oh, that's a TX battery, 7.7 .7 volt. Now I have all the widgets here, so I'm gonna go and get my car and see if it works. And here it is. I haven't rebind it or anything, so let's see if it works. Oh, okay, it works right away. I don't have to rebind anything. Oh, and you might have noticed it that I have changed the thumbstick to this one. So, because uh, I use my thumb, I figured this might be easier to use. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description as well if you want to change your thumb grip to this style or it has like uh, about three or four styles uh, that you can choose for the TX16S. That's pretty good. Well, let's go for a test drive. And that's it for this project. We started with the basic setup and then how to make the gimbal self-center and then flash the HTX to it. And that's pretty much all I want to show you. Now I have a very good and customizable radio for all my cars. I'll keep you posted if I come up with anything new. Thanks as always for watching. See you again next time.